Tonight is about thanking you, so thanking all of the residents who have co-produced and co-designed these service standards, which I promise you are plastered all over the town hall. And today I went to Pembroke Road, which is where our depot is with all of the big lorries that collect the waste and they're plastered all up there as well. We are committed to these standards, but we've got quite a lot of hard work to do because it's not just about wanting to do it, it's about having the right processes, systems, staff training, um, resident kind of feedback loops, and not all of that is there yet, but it will be. I think we couldn't have done this without you. Uh, I think as Maxine said, these are a set of standards that we're really proud to have adopted. Um, I really enjoyed coming to one of the workshops that you did here at the Nourish Hub uh, last year. I found that a really interesting exercise and the things that you were saying all struck a chord. I think they're very reasonable standards. I think we did a lot of really good work. We overcame some obstacles together. We felt positive about the way the council received it, the way it's gone up the chain inside the council. Um, but we're only at the end of the first half, so now comes the difficult bit of seeing these service stands implemented. Do people accept the responsibility or does it get brushed over and buried and left and low prioritised? And that's where we are. It's in the hands of the council now. I think they have the tools and I think they have the determination to make change. And the fact that this simple thing is by all our words, a non-collaborative decision, shows that the council has listened to us. Any time call them, we write to them, maybe and visit them in person, we would um, measure what is being done. So we would examine it and see if, it, if there are any changes. We have given our it to that. Now we have passed the ball to not only the decision makers, but every single boy of council, especially those who would be dealing with customers on a day to day basis. Um, now the challenge is really over to us because you've done the hard work, you've thought about this, what do you want from your council? And now it is for everybody in the council, whether it's elected politicians or council officers, every time we talk to a resident or a business or a voluntary organisation to embody all of these standards.